How is it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time, and happy Star Wars Day. In celebration of May the 4th, I went out and bought a tractor. Not just any tractor though, this is a Porsche Diesel Junior 108. You may be asking yourself, what is a Porsche Diesel Junior? Why are there 108 of them, and what do they have to do with Star Wars? It's not actually the tractor itself that has anything to do with Star Wars, but the parts that make up the tractor. In many ways, it's also what makes up the universe of Star Wars. Midichlorians. But actually though, I'm talking about model kit parts. Many of the ships in Star Wars, and many other famous sci-fi vehicles were made by mixing and combining model kit pieces in a process known as kit bashing. Today, I'm going to be kit bashing this tractor model into a pod racer, and at the end of the video, I'll be showing you a collection of custom pod racers made by my patrons. I started with a main body piece, and after flipping it over, I discovered a great little saddle shape for a pilot seat. It also kind of looks like Sebulba. This piece, oriented correctly, screams slow moving tractor. Flipped around backwards, it says bumper for a speedy racer. I also added some bits to the inside of that to make it look like it was meant to be that way. I flipped the console around and conveniently it was the perfect size and shape to make a little seat. I also patched up this big hole on the back with this little box. I understand that some may not like the idea of buying a model kit just to ruin it like this, but kit bashing is a lot like building with Legos. I always had fun following the instructions and getting to the image on the box, but most of my Legos spent only a short amount of time in that form before being thrown into the larger Lego box to be combined with everything else, which provided endless amounts of creativity and fun. Don't get me wrong, I often enjoy making model kits as they are seen on the box, but it's a great realization that it's not the only way to enjoy model kits. It also leaves a ton of extra parts for later. After completing the pod, I began on the engines. I looked through all my bits for anything that was generally round, and I found these little rings which gave me an idea. I decided on these bead bottles to be the base shape for the engines and began preparing the other pieces to fit onto them. Many of these pieces are leftovers from my previous pod racer build. I had to do some heat treating and sanding to get some of these materials to stick together, but super glue accelerator made the process a lot easier. I added those rims and tires taken from the tractor kit as well as some 1 to 35 scale barrels. I added some lengths of styrene tubes to give the cylinder more dimension and places to mount some angular pieces onto later. I used some little pointy bottle caps for the back of the thrusters and then I made some fins out of some thinly sliced strips of styrene. I didn't like how pointy this piece was so I used a dremel and a cutoff wheel to make it flat. I added one of those little plastic rings, and I cut off some tank treads from another model kit to add some texture to the engine. I had some foils left over from an old TIE striker kit, and I know they're not to scale, but we'll just say they're mini foils. I felt like they added a nice visual weight to the front without too much extra bulk. I stole these decorative side pieces from an old timer, I liked the texture, and they just happened to fit perfectly over the styrene that I had placed earlier. I also like the angle of this sprue piece, so I cut out two of those, and I noticed a striking resemblance to something from my childhood. I threw those on with a few other tractor bits, including some bits to act as plasma binders. I made sure to drill some holes to run wires later. And that was the construction done. I did go back and patch up some holes and gaps, as well as add some surface texture with Tamiya putty that I stippled on with a brush. The surface texture idea I got from Scratch Bashing, who got it from Night Shift. Both great channels. Night Shift's technical skills with model making are mesmerizing to watch. 
If you haven't seen it, you should definitely go check it out for yourself. Once the putty was dry, it was time to put some wires in place. It was a difficult angle to thread the thin wire, so I ran a more sturdy curved wire through first, and I pulled the thinner wire back with it. I wanted to hide a battery housing in the base to power this thing, so I marked out where it would go, I drilled some holes in the corners, and then I cut out the rest with a jigsaw. I cut a coat hanger wire and bent it to be the connector between the two engines and the pod. I used some brass tubes and mini eye hooks to create a sturdy connection point on each of the engines. I used some brass tubes to act as standoffs for the engines as well as conduit for the wires. I drilled some holes in the base, I glued the coat hanger, the engines, and the pod together. I then stuck the battery housing in place and connected a toggle switch and finished the circuit except for the LEDs. I did make sure to test those though before moving on. And then it was ready to prime. I primed it with a flat gray spray paint and I used the airbrush to apply a black pre-shade to all the recesses and panel lines. I then applied a coat of tan and blue to various sections of the pod racer, keeping the layers thin enough that some of the shading would show through. After that, I stippled on a rusty red color, and on top of that, I applied a wet and dry brush layer of silvery gray. I then covered the whole thing in glossy black and brown washes from Citadel, and I dabbed it off with a paper towel. The goal for the gloss finish is to make it look like oil built up in those recesses. I applied a layer of dust with the airbrush, and that was the painting of the pod racer done. I of course needed a pilot to operate this vehicle, and my wife was digging through my bits box and found a Chewbacca figure that was just the right scale. It required a little bit of cutting and gluing to get the Wookiee into the right pose, but it wasn't too big of a deal. I wanted to have him with some racing goggles. So I cut up some little pieces of styrene tubing, glued those together, and then I glued them to his face. I primed the figure, and I gave him a quick and easy paint job, and I also put some UV resin inside those goggles to look like lenses. I then glued him in place and moved on to soldering the LEDs. I used two LED filaments that I twisted together, one blue and one red, so that the glow put off would be purple. I stuck down some sand to the base using watered down white glue and isopropyl alcohol. And after that, I painted the sides of the base black and I called it good. Before my glamour shots though, I wanted to showcase some beautiful original pod racers made by my patrons. Oh, and stick around till the very end for a fun Star Wars Day surprise. Fun Star Wars Day Surprise is a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away three model kits. One will go to a follower on Instagram, one will be for someone in the comments of this video, and the last one will be for one of my current patrons. The details for the giveaway will be in the description. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Huge shout out as always to my patrons. Extra special thank you to all of the patrons who participated in that pod racer build. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Happy Star Wars Day. Go do something fun and Star Wars-y to celebrate. And otherwise, have a great week. I'll see you next time.